this bitch competition. Okay, bye. Oh, I am not ignoring my whips. They're ripening in my mental cellar. And they're almost done. Yo, my friend decided to investigate what was blocking their drain system. And you are not prepared for the answer. This is a fallen angel to me. <coughs> Louis Calhoun in 1904 is well known for his 13 foot long beard, which he used to hold cats in. That's it. That's the guy I want to be. Although I feel like one topic has a much stronger beard for this than I do. You attract what you fear. Um, a rich benefactor who will fund all my weird creative endeavors. No, stay away. Well, outside, I saw a bat flying around. Then I saw a toad in the yard. Straight up like a witch's brew out there. Stay safe. Can we please get a dragon? Mm-mm-mm. You already have the dungeon part. Don't get greedy now. Sorry, I never reply. Every day is blending together and I'm losing sense of time. Hey, man. I get it. Do not let the moose lick your car. Do, do they expect me to stop him somehow? I was born at a very young age. I've been alive for as long as I can remember. And I hope to continue living until I die. And, and what do you think you can bring to our company? Gonna steal from it. Sometimes the smallest thing can rewrite the trajectory of your life. For example, the only reason I could think about Dragon Ball Z for five years of my mortal life is I attended a local theater one-act play based on waiting for G Godot, got it, got, I don't fucking care, I'm, somebody's gonna say I said it wrong, where Vegeta and Frieza were fighting on Namek and waiting for Goku. It was so good, it rewrote my brain chemistry permanently. Vegeta's growing despair contrasted with Frieza's dispassionate apathy, desperately trying to ignore the growing realization that Goku might never arrive, might not even exist. The spirit Halloween costumes blending seamlessly with a truly sensitive emotional acting, and I would give anything to attend again, but there will never be another run. I forgot a really important element of this, which is that the actors for Vegeta and Frieza had heels <laughs> on the whole time. <laughs> oh my god, I want to see this. A gentleman so flat and boobless, you could skip him across the water like a prized stone. Can't believe you guys have the courage to say that out loud. I mean, he's just standing right there. Remember, bird watching goes both ways. That's vaguely threatening. Thank you. Just heard someone pronounce arrow A says Elochi. Like an Italian pasta. I'm still in shock. Finally, something to go with the garlic bread. Studies confirm suspicions that the cat brains are smaller than they used to be. Any cat owner already knew this. Well, that's an unfair study. That cat is orange. <laughs> I already know this sound, but I want to use this. Transformers is funny because it seems to be a simple niche interest, but in reality, it's like if your Hot Wheels came with Greek mythology. I died for your sins. Why? <laughs> Why is this making me laugh harder than I'm sure? When you make a beautiful snow mural and then take a nap with your bike. Aw, oh, how lovely. Somebody should go check on him, though. America's worst nightmare. Florida. Oh... My god, you gave the United States of America fucking honors! Oh, 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 hi. Yeah, that, that's the end of this video. Unless you're watching it on a binge thing and I forgot to take this part out, then I apologize for that. I'm very dumb. You know, the plush thing's still going. We had an extension, because we got a comeback, because I drew Sienna with it. I could probably do it again if we hit 400 and use the cute sun elf girl with the tan lines. I know you guys like that one. Don't you fucking lie to me. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. It still shocks me that most of the people on this site have never gotten Anon hate. 
I've been on here long enough that I've gotten Anon hate and then years later gotten Anon apologies for said hate. You ever gotten Anon hate in my like three and a half years on here? Hey, check your inbox. I can't believe they're not giants. They might be butter. I brought some fruit for the potluck. A dark foreboding feeling overtakes you. You know this face, even in its absence. <laughs> One slice of the god lasagna, please. That's, that's chocolate cake. Hey, I'm ascending to a higher form of existence. You need anything? Yeah, some peace of mind would be nice. And while you're at it, could you grab me like a little more of a loving soul? Thanks. I got the stuff, though I accidentally crossed to an elder god's domain, so it might take a while to- <laughs> I got too committed. No, little German boy. Don't go to the YouTube comment section. Oh my god, there's so many bots in here. And they all have clap and assin. Friendly reminder that in Wind Waker, Link's green tunic is literally just a traditional outfit he's supposed to wear for his coming of age ceremony, but ends up wearing it for the entire storyline of the game. Despite remarks on how hot and uncomfortable it is, he's essentially running around saving the world in the fantasy world equivalent of a quesadilla dress. Disney really told Alex Hirsch to avoid possibly referencing furries. My brother and Mickey Mouse, y'all practically invented furries. Need I remind you about Robin Hood? Did, did it was you guys. You did that. Another victim of Chubacabra. Deflated. How are Borzies real? How is this a real animal? What is it for? Someone sincerely tell me, what is this dog for? A man in a suit on his knees looking up does something to me. I mean, how's your night going, guys? <laughs> hey, what's up? Wii Sports Resort is a good game, but they need to release it with the ability to explore the town because it looks very walkable and charming, and I want to see it better than the view you get from a plane. There's only one logical thing you gotta do. Bring the plane to the town. You telling me these horrors are incomprehensible? You telling me be not afraid? Oh, honey, sugar cube. I'm a wet sack of meat and fats on a wet rock hurling for how long in space? Anything is more stimulating than this. Give me some excitement and show the bind frightful bear wings and amorphous flesh laying bear. Don't threaten me with a good time. Damn, Sullivan's some sort of freak. Google AI search tool reportedly tells users to jump off a bridge and eat rocks. I've been saying that to people for years. Google's not special. I hope this email finds you well. How the email found me. <laughs> I don't know why I do these terrible screeches now. Ugh. I'm a professional voice actor, guys, I swear. Human, what, what exactly is the internet's obsession with pictures of cats edited to look like how media depicts aliens and saying Gleep Glorp? I don't know, I guess people just think it's funny or something. Do you know what Gleep Glorp translates to in English? No, what? It translates to, I don't believe in Martian rights. <laughs> What the f human Tim, what are you putting in the food? Cilantro. Uh, isn't that what Human Bob said was poison? It's not poison. Bob just has the bad cilantro gene. Bad cilantro gene? Yeah, some people have a gene that causes cilantro to taste like soap, but there's there's no other effects. What's the purpose of this gene? <sighs> Your guess is as good as mine. Evolution does some strange things. Chris, I was browsing YouTube and I came across these videos called Humans Are Space Orcs. Oh, those! Those are videos where we pretend to be visited by aliens who think the things we did were barbaric and illogical. But that's... Chris, are we in a Humans Are Space Orcs episode right now? Back it in, boys. He found out. Why are you humans like this? Am I on that Truman show you keep talking about? Human, what is monster energy? It's an energy drink, like the one I was drinking a while ago. Now, does it give you more strength than normal energy drinks? Or does it perhaps have any rage-inducing chemicals in it? And not really. It's a normal drink. I guess the amount of energy you get could maybe be considered more strength. I see. Why do you ask? Well, human Kyle was drinking one and punched a hole through the drywall. Again, Kyle? I swear to fucking God, if this happens one more time... Maybe it is rage-inducing. Human, why are you painting that small plastic statue? Oh, hey, I'm painting this minifigure for my Warhammer 40k campaign. 
you're painting a statue for war? <laughs> no, it's more like a game of imagination with others and there's a set of rules for everyone to follow to simulate what's somewhat realistic combat. And I assume there's some sort of lore for the game like every other game? Yeah, and who boy, let me tell you about it! Two hours later. What the fuck is this madness? Warhammer 40k, a game about death, and lots of money spending. Emily, why do you constantly put that stuff on your armpits? Oh, it's so I can smell nice. Makes it so I don't sweat there and grow bacteria that makes me smell bad. Helps if I constantly shave my armpits down to nothing. You don't smell bad to me. Thanks, I work hard. There's got to be more to this. Um, sure. Before we invented deodorant or even became civil, the body odor this stuff prevents was our natural pheromone. Helped us attract mates. I see. How do humans attract mates now, then? Largely the same way. We smell nice and look nice. Same stuff, different day. You humans are strange. Human, I have a question. Go ahead. How did your species know about the Mimikosia? Mimi, who's ya? These. It's rather remarkable how accurate you depicted them, although they replicate genetic material instead of absorbing it. Why, 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 what? Yes, they're actually a common cat pet for that reason. Younglings adore having a playmate that can look like them. You also exaggerated their knowledge acquisition skills. They merely replicate the base instincts of those they impersonate. Oh, oh my god. Ow, 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 ow! Human, why are stones falling from the sky? Oh, that's hail. Sometimes during rain, small frozen pellets fall from the sky. Then why aren't you evacuating? Isn't this supposed to be one of your natural disasters? Oh no! It happens pretty rarely, but it isn't dangerous enough to be a disaster. Plus, it's pretty harmless if you just don't go outside. I truly don't understand you lot. What is this cartoon that you are watching? Oh, that's not a cartoon. We talked about this. This is anime. What's the difference? Okay, so anime is made in Japan and cartoons are from basically everywhere else. Part of me wants to debunk that, but we're gonna let that slide for now. That's it? The only difference is cultural? Why don't you just call it Japanese cartoons then? Hey, we can be allowed some variety in words when your species has 48 different words for pillow. There are some very distinct differences, okay? At least I'm not slapping characters with memory glands the size of a planet on my pillows. Human, what, what are you watching? My favorite movie, John Wick. What's it about? It's about a retired assassin that comes out of retirement to take out the people that killed his dog. A dog? He's killing other humans over a lower life form? What did you just say? Hello, danger? Don't worry, everybody, he's fine. Ugh, angels with pronouns be like he slash him. Blue hair and proverbs. Don't be funnier than me! Behold, cryptids of a Posing powers. Egg and leg. Oh my god, there's two bunnies using another bunny's couch. Look at it. Call that a... Call that a bouch. Please join me in a prayer for the vigilante McDonald's workers. Workers, we thank you for your nuggets of justice. May your small fries become large, your sodas be supersized, and every one of your ten-piece nuggets contain eleven, as you have done for us. Amen. That was beautiful. Wait, what is that profile picture? All I eat is sand, and all I see is injustice. Just let me, let me die! A really strange nerd is an anagram for transgender, and my life suddenly got better. Oh lord, he's important! Happy Pride Month, everybody! I fed Bart some crickets yesterday, and suddenly something in his lizard brain glitched, and he sat like this. He sat like a dog. Error 404, gek not found. Booting program file. Dog. And what does amen mean? Is it like, slay? I've literally never been more obsessed with a TikTok comment. I don't know if they're serious or not. Fake IDGAFer. I saw you vague posting about it on Tumblr. Mm -mm. Friendly reminder that Mr. House is Gen Alpha and is almost four years old now. Do you think you watch Skibbity Toilet? It would explain so much, actually. Pocky Cho, you said thanks for that and got 1,655 notes. How? T, 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 T. Hey, can I come over and plant false memories of us being childhood friends? Sure, you always did that when we were younger. 
Hey, wait a minute. Reminder. Behind every robot that turns evil is an engineer who specifically installed red LEDs into the eyes. Just for this occasion. You know, I never thought about that before. Just overheard two teenage boys at the front door of their friend's house. One was on the phone and gently said, Oh, did you just wake up? And the other one yelled, Open up, fuck nugget! While slamming his hand on the door. I gotta say, I love the friendship dynamic. Can't believe I forgot to mention that the guy who lived there answered the door while wrapped up in his blanket and it was way past noon at the time, which really sold the entire interaction as a whole. Congratulations, I'm pretty sure you just found the IRL versions of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Hey, Cleric, uh, who's your god again? Shamash. <laughs> Don't forget to shamash that like button and subscribe. I'm going to kill you. You know, I just realized that most of Spider-Man's villains are some kind of furry. What do you think they meant by that? Confusing Odysseus and Orpheus is like confusing a liar and a liar. Send post. You know, looking back, nobody found this funny. Especially Homer. I've never been in one of your godforsaken videos, and I won't be starting now, you fucking gremlin. You know, that's some big talk coming from a ghost, aka God's last minute bastard project. You read Tumblr posts for a living. God has no respect for you. 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 Maybe they're right. Maybe it's time to stop. Garfield, are you slash SRS or slash J? Are you slash J? So in case you didn't know by now, I do things online. Which means that there's always somebody out there that hates me. And every so often that hatred does kind of pile up when it really kind of starts to get to you. I think I have a little a little two hour period I like to call the weepies and sleepies. This is one of those sessions that uh, the ghost of Steve Jobs came and visited me and said, Dude, bro, you're in your 30s. These are just stupid words on the internet. You should just turn it into content. And I looked to Steve Jobs in the eye and said, you know what? You right. Let's turn them into content. So here we go. By the way, the names of the annoying comments have been withheld because they're probably just 12 years old and very angry and there's no point in harassing them back. Well, I guess next video will be a tutorial on how to worship your Lord and Savior. Yeah, I'm gonna need an elaboration for this one, Chief. Is it because the assemblage is vaguely cross-shaped? They're talking about this thing I posted the other day. Not quite. In all the years of him drawing these characters, you never suspected something else behind this. Guy's proud of his art. Must be a cult. The cringe waste of materials. You're cringe and a waste of materials. Relax, dude. You, you cannot complain about something of being cringe with a profile picture like that. Just be cringe. As for wasting of materials, I disagree. They're displaying their craft, being able to see something you made, say something you spent time on every day. It does wonders for the psyche. My profile picture's goofy, I agree, but at least I don't have anime girls on my wall! <laughs> well shit dude, you got me there. I'm starting to see a pattern and I don't pike it. What's the pattern? Say it. Let's put it this way. Suspicious pictures of women. Can't spell put right, but gets get suspicious down to a T, huh? You mean women with large breasts and or thighs? Lol. I mean, Siana and Sana, the two characters I assume you're talking about, have been around for a while. The pattern you speak of is not new. I'll be like a voice I gave you, Lousy, you MVP. Yes, about the first part. I had just seen this picture and I've never seen the Chanel before. Three, no offense. Just wanted to pant out this is a joke. Funny how it always goes back to that, right? When the joke doesn't land, you, you have to like clarify it's a joke. I mean, I had to do that recently, I'm gonna admit. Like, maybe that ending was a little too severe, but hey, I found it funny. Is it over sexualized? My brain. Bro, who the fuck made this? Why are the thighs the size of whales? Talk about this character, by the way. You know, you haven't seen anything 
the internet can do with thigh size is that maybe keep it that way. I say this as a man who has been on the internet since like early 2000s. DeviantArt was fucking nuts, dude. And now they just sell AI generated versions of this degeneracy. I'm about to become the Junker! Oh, this is the super special one. They get the Toad Voice. Fuck you! I hate you and everything you stand for! Why? Just, just, why? The hell is your problem? The fucking whoa! What, what's wrong with it? It's literally just a bunch of pictures put together to form a shape. You don't need to get so angry over a shape. Do you not see the fucking images? Well, Tim Tim here doesn't seem to like the anime. Anime is not the problem here! Don't try and make me seem insane! Get out of my head! Get out of my head! Get out of my head! Oh, what's the problem then, little Jamborino? Do the sizes scare you? Is it the hair? The furry one? The use of the orange and blue? All of the above? Well, I got some sad news there, little guy. If this scares you, leave the internet and don't come back. Or become content. I even have to admit, that one was pretty fucking cringe, but it was just so funny how dramatic they were getting, I wanted to share the energy. As I was editing this, one of the people responded to the, the original thing, and it was Cult Guy. Worshipping the picture of a character? Isn't that cults in a nutshell? I mean, if we really want to get technical about it, uh... The actual definition of a cult is a religious group often living together whose beliefs are considered extreme or strange by many people. There's also this one that says a system of religious veneration and devotion directed toward a particular figure or object, and that's probably what they're assuming, which is fine, but like... No, it's not a cult thing! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Boy stretched so hard, he's practically doing fucking yoga! Two, there's like, there's like seven characters on that wall, not one. I mean, there's like two Sianas, and I'm assuming that's probably what he's talking about, but like... Dude. 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 Grass. <laughs> Touch it. And I think that's where we're gonna stop for today, at least just on this introductory video, just to get a feel for it. If you like this sort of thing, I'll be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you've got your own personal annoying comments that you've gotten, and you want them writing stupid ass voices for cathartic reasons. You can check out the link in the pinned comment below. It's our new submission server for all of the things we do on this channel. And this particular one just opened up so you could be the first one to submit. Just drop them all right in there. Obviously take out the identity of the person who's being a stupid bingus and yeah. I'll go ahead and give them the dumbest voice you can imagine. Thank you all so much for watching. Now, if you excuse me, I've got, I've got Kool-Aid recipes to look up for some reason. Don't question it. Don't, don't. <laughs> I had some of you going at the end of the last Tumblr video, didn't I? Characters have to have a little bit awful in ways that you can't defend. It's good for the ecosystem. Your Honor, he did do that. He did, in fact, do that. Your Honor, I was simply being simply. I was just being a little goofball. Your Honor, I was having a little fun time when I stole that person's credit card information. I love that these two are back to back. My husband saw a rabbit in our yard eating grass and said, That would be like sitting in a field of french fries. You know what? He's absolutely right. Mm, thinking about how red marble stone look way too much like meat. Forbidden steak, give me. You know, sometimes the heart's like, ah! And there's nothing you can do about it. Is this about anxiety or love? Yes. Touch stuff? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm well past that. I've already died of touch starvation. Sad. Gender's confusing, sexuality's confusing, feelings are confusing, everything's confusing. Including geometry. Especially geometry. Fuck geometry! Uh, I see the price of groceries in my light motif changes to minor key. You should be at the club. I can't go to the club. I'll be in there saying shit like perchance and thrice. I don't know. If someone walked up to me and said, would you perchance like to grind thrice on the floor? I'd probably hear them out. Sorry for my bad English. It's my first language. Uh. Girls are so hot. Guys are hot too, oh man, why is everyone so hot? Global warming? Ah, uh, there's the asexual. Digital artists, remember, you have the power to draw your enemies getting arrested for tax evasions. Don't waste it.
Hey, is this just a digital art thing, or can I do it traditionally too? Traditional artists are limited to them committing tax fraud. Those are the rules, sadly. Can we draw on pregnant? I said what I said. <sighs> can you even call yourself a thief if you don't have a homoerotic relationship with at least one detective? Having such an obvious favorite character trope is life ruining, bro. I can't say shit about liking a character that acts slightly in a very specific way without being hit with the tidal wave of, uh, of course you would. To live is to suffer! Okay, but what is it like to touch Superman? He's like bulletproof. His skin which should be like tougher than iron. Would it be like touching a statue? Or can he relax all of his muscles to make himself like softer? Sorry, after I saw the words touch Superman, my vision went completely white. Hey, happy Pride Month, everybody. What if Silver's hair was actually silver? That's not what I meant! Well, 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 gamers. Y'all seem to like that video. What do you say we go and do it again? As like in the last video, names have been withheld of the, the, the silly little dinguses that make these comments. Also, to the best of my ability, the negative comments have been wiped, so that way they can't be found, nor can the dingus lay claim to them, because who would believe them? Oh, and a few of your guys' submissions are put up in the mix, so that's fun. Let's do it. Ugh, Seymour sings every song just slightly off, and it'll never and it's like bug the shit out of me. Actually, full disclosure, I am actually one of those people who are very genetically tone deaf. So that's kind of why I stopped doing covers. At least on my own channel, in the hands of a sound engineer who can actually tune me right, that's great. But like, no, I don't, I, I, that's why I usually don't sing much, I rap instead. Yeah, I beg of you to never speak Dutch with a German accent again. That picture is barely acceptable to begin with and you make it worse in an odd fun way. Uh -huh. I think, it, I think they sound like they need to do a little slap, 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 clap, clap, clap. Oh, Master, please look up on the sentence before you say the, the pronunciation of Christ will hurt my soul. Huh, new here, huh? No, I'm just reaching my big part. There's part of me that wants to make it worse. How about I say it like a Carl Weezer says croissant? Croissant. Bro, they did not have to design her that way. They're asking for this. Sure, Jan. Also, try saying that line out loud in public. I'm sure that'll go over well. You French toast is fucking disgusting. You're out of line! Oh, here's the one. It's toad time. Learn proportions! Nah. Learn proportions! Nah. Learn proportions! Nah. Learn proportions! Mmm. Nah. Who the heck are you? Why are you in my YouTube community feed? And why are some of these characters kind of thick? I mean, ask YouTube, not me. That, that feels more like a you thing. Yeah, you should focus on your YouTube kitchen. Nah, I'm good. I like doing other things. They make me happy. Okay, hold on. Before, <laughs> let me clarify that because this is the internet and everyone wants to play Detective Gotcha moment. This does not mean I hate doing the Tumblr content. <laughs> this just means I like doing other things along with the Tumblr content. It's not that deep, bro. The curtains are actually blue in this one. Let's relax. I actually don't remember what this next one was from, but I remember I shared it just because it was so goddamn funny. Um, Rose Quartz was not morally gray. She was Palpatine. Bro, bro. Bro, not even close. This is a beautiful way of telling me that you can't handle a character's story arc backwards. Oh no, no, so sweet summer child, no. Ew, gross. I hate dogs. This is it, this is officially the worst one. I don't like this one, get rid of it. Game community drama, sense of the identities of all users involved. None of the users are me, by the way. Oh, they were outside looking in, let's see. Don't! Join server because the animal, user one, is the owner and he can ban you. But my server is also a server, but not like user one. Join that server. Link is below in the description of my channel. User two, user one, are the world's biggest enemies and animal. 
I got to know everything that you were doing in server, and I will tell everyone that you all betrayed the YouTubers and other modders by saying 20 slash 80, and especially calling user 3, furry and me, a stupid bald. If you are seeing this, I'm not telling the lie. The proof is here. You need to do something for this, otherwise there'll be risky problems. Burn these betrayers from server. Mm. Thanks. And user one, all the things you said to user four was actually all a lie, except that you want to harm us. Otherwise I will take the contents from mod of game. Mm. Holy shit, who pissed in their Cheerios? Comments I got for my has-been redesigns. Oh, I already know this is not going to end well. Why? Why did you make them black? Are you trying to say something? I knew it. I knew it. No, 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 no. With all due respect to the author and his <laughs> perverencia, but Nords had the right idea about the elves. Stormcloak spotted. Get his ass. BORING! Please delete your channel, lady, and go somewhere else. YouTube is not for your boring contents. Have a great day! You sound like a very nice human. Oh, I wish I got a peek at that little dingus's channel because something tells me it's videos of Minecraft Let's Plays on unregistered hypercam. And using a laptop microphone. Oh my god, bro will not leave me alone about Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic 2A? Bro, I promise I'm gonna draw him! This is about the sixth comment you left about Sonic the Hedgehog, my man! You know, there's a part of me that really, really wants to say that's just how Sonic fans are, and I know that's not entirely true, but Jesus Christ, they're very weird adjacent. Um, no thanks. I'm not spending my money on your goofy um, paint job. I'd be surprised if your ROM let you use your credit card for your Roblox account. <laughs> Damn, Jim! Oh, champ, that's good! I don't play Roblox. Yeah, they probably play a real gamer's game. Like Bejeweled. I keep forgetting the <laughs> proportions of this character that I've seen them in rounds. <laughs> Just say boobs or thighs, Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's like equal parts annoying and equal parts stupid. Just stop. Ew. Even his walls are made it less oh oh man that's just sad I, I mean i get it i understand that you probably feel that way and that's fine and valid but i also have a feeling that my wife would disagree with you oh i can actually feel the positivity of my life coming back into my body so oh so good to get this all out thank you guys so much for listening and uh yeah as always if you uh if you got your own that you want me to read in Silly Voices, the server channel will be uh, pinned in the comment below. You can go check it out there and submit your own material that you, uh, you need to get some relief on, and I'll see you all there. Ah, uh, these really have been a lot of fun to do. I think, like, this all started when I, uh, I saw someone on Reddit put up a post that said, <laughs> they fucking said, when I'm in a barely disguised fetish competition, my opponent is BMC4. I was like, dude, this is so fucking stupid, but so funny. Like, bro, draw sick characters. This is the equivalent to being Dan Schneider.